Hello and welcome to this New York Sports Show Diecast Review. In front of us, we have Mike Mola's 2003 SK Modified Limited Edition car. And I gotta say, this is just such a cool diecast. You know, my SK Modified diecast, you do not see them made anywhere, and I mean anywhere, so hard to find, especially the Matchbox ones, but this, this is 100% very rare, very limited edition, and you could actually uh, see when, when I turn this around, it actually comes with a certificate of authenticity, only 650 die casts of this car were made, it's it's absolutely unbelievable the fact that this is just in such good tact, you know, after being around for many, many years. I'm I'm very impressed by that. So before we take this out, let's look at the uh I guess you could say box, even though it's kinda not. A little bit more. So on the front you have the number six modified with uh the rolling thunder logo, one point sixty four scale modified wasters. Even though it's only one, so it's more like a modified wayside. Going on the back, you have the certificate of authenticity. You have uh, just a regular like silhouette of an SK mod with uh, Mike Moller's name with the number 35. And it looks like this was the 272nd one made out of 650. And I, I, I absolutely love that this comes with a certificate of authenticity. You know, even limited edition uh, die cast today, you don't see them come with that. So it really goes to show you how much, uh, I guess you could say, NASCAR die casts have uh, regressed in just show in general. So let's get this bad boy open. Okay, it is out of the packaging. And wow. You know, I don't know how well you guys could see that, but the light just absolutely beams off of this. It was like it was just waxed in real life or something. It's so shiny and I love that. It's like watching it be under the lights. Gotta say, overall, kind of simple paint scheme, but I, I like it though. Of course, we're gonna get more de uh, more depth into it, but biggest thing that I love about this die cast that you will not see anywhere else, the Hoosier Tires. Yes, many don't know who's actually uh, sponsors uh, the Will and Modify Tour still along with the uh, uh, other, like, short track uh, racing series, the Advanced Auto Ports Weekly Racing Series. So they're still in NASCAR in, in some shape and form, and it's just, it, it, it adds a big part of detail. Because if you go look at the Matchbox Modifieds, they have Goodyear tires on. So it's, it's those tiny things in detail that you really love and that really stands out, you know? So, I'm gonna show you guys around before I start. Beautiful, beautiful car. Okay. So in the front, you could uh, see flames. Absolutely amazing. Go on the side. It says uh, Gabby's on. I don't know what else it says behind the tire. Just like, uh, in real life, you don't really see the full, uh, the full logo because the tires block it. And then you have a tiny logo up there. Uh, the, the details in this car, like, the wording is so small, just like it would, uh, be in real life, you know, because, uh, when you think about it, Will and, uh, Will and just uh, SKs in general, they don't really have that much space for uh, sponsoring. So you have a, a lot of tiny spots filled up. Love that checkered flag there. You know, of course, this was a car in real life. And I got to say, whoever designed the paint scheme for this in real life is absolutely brilliant. It looks absolutely amazing. The back, it says, uh, coal heating and cooling. Great car. Now you can see more of what it says for Gabby. So it says Gabby's auto body. That's what I thought it said, but I didn't want to assume. And then going on the top, Chevrolet number 35 and Mike Moller. Kind of funny story. I actually sponsor his son, Andrew Moller, 
who also drives the number 35 SK Mud and also races in the Wheel and Modified Tour too. So it's really cool to have this uh, die cast. Looking on the back. Absolutely amazing die cast. You know, I haven't reviewed too, too many die casts on this channel. But I gotta say, from all the ones I've done, never done a modified before. Let me start off with that. But from all the ones I've done, I think this is uh, one of, if not the best. Now, overall, for packaging, I give it a, a 10 out of 10. You know, you go look, and even the NASCAR Authentics that you see at like Target and Walmart, their packaging cannot compare to this. You could tell they actually put effort in design and everything like that. Have the nice checkered flag and then the certificate of authenticity. You don't see that anymore. So 10 out of 10 for that. Car wise, I'm, I'm giving this a 10 out of 10 too. The fact that they actually put the Hoosier tire logo on the car, that's absolutely amazing. It's, di it's tiny details like that that go a long way. And I absolutely love them. They have every single thing on this car that you would see if you actually got to see this uh, car race in real life by Mike Mola. And it's absolutely amazing. You know, the, the, the SK mods and the Wheeler mods, they don't get that much love for diecast being made. You know, Lionel doesn't make them or anything like that. Uh, Matchbox used to make them. So it's, it's really nice that at one point they were made at least. So at least the drivers get to look back and see that they had one made. In their name and in uh, the car that they used to drive. Comment down below if you own this die cast. I'm Dominic Kondoweski with the New York Sports Show. This was a New York Sports Show die cast review. I'm signing out. Peace.